Hello everyone, how are you? In the last tutorial, we have seen about vectors. In this tutorial, we'll be learning something called DQ. Now, vectors was very similar to an array, an array which has a variable length from the back. Now, a DQ is something, a DQ is an array which has a variable length from back and front as well. So, you can add elements back and front both in uh, order of one time in vectors when you want to add elements at the back you have to add you have to shift every element back and then create space for a new element so this takes a lot of time that is where this dq comes into picture so let's see how to implement a dq i'm creating a dq d having five spaces moving ahead on this course we'll be learning something called iterators to access the values of containers till we don't learn that we are going to use normal random access to access each and every value of containers uh, keep in mind that random access doesn't work for every container we'll be seeing containers where random access doesn't work but since these containers are very similar to arrays just like arrays we can access them so let's see we have this push back which inserts 10 at the back similarly we have push front which inserts value in the front now let's we now have seven values so let's print them out So we have this 0 is inserted in the front 10 is inserted with the back 1 2 3 4 5 as we insert using this for loop so rest all functions are similar to vectors that's it guys for dq in the next tutorial we'll be learning about list so stay on and keep watching thank you